Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. Come on. The train's on its way. Girl. So listen. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Well, whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's all coming together, Dutch, just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, Saint Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Macker? That's enough. Quiet, all of you. Not much for... Further now. All right. 
<sighs> Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We're still going through with this? Of course we are. Get on that train! We can jump on at the side!
Get going, Bill! All right, let's get back on there. Jump back on! Uncouple that cash before it blows us all up! Morning! move. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha!
Milton and his men took it to Van Horn to be put on a boat and tried for murder. I am sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just bait. We got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice. Dutch, it's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. Oh, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. Now he don't care if he orphans his French child so long as he gets rich. All his goddamn talk all them years. Seems like it was always a lie. Or he went crazy. Yes. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, oh. Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. Give them Life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest of us. Like I said, Arthur, we don't need them. We're gonna make this right, me and you together. What's left of it. Now, come on. Ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Whoa! <laughs> How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. Get.
Mr. Milton. Where are you? There you are, you bastard. this out like gentlemen.
Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. We offered you a deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're losing your strength, Mr. Morgan. You're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Horrible man. Come on, both of you. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Tilly's got it. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Abigail, you ride mine. What are you doing? Get on, Get Arthur. on, Arthur. Get on. You'll be okay. Get ahead of us on the left. to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. I think... Arthur. He... What? He got killed or what? he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. 
Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur and me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> you done it before he worked himself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your head. The cards lay out a straight all from your command. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. You saved my life. Good man. Thank you, fellow. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back, hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. 
And you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me! You left me to die! My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming. Fast. Ah! Now! Ah! Ah! Who amongst you ah! Ah! is with me? Ah! And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get... Keep driving, Arthur! 
the money. Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... <clears throat> you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur. I'm coming with you. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell oh, out of here! Get up this cliff. Yeah. You go. Come on, Arthur. Keep pushing. Look out. They're going up the rocks. Get behind a rock. Hey, look out. God damn it. They're everywhere. Get out. Come on, let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know.
all there is! Living and dying! You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost, my sick friend. You lost. Man, Marcus, despite my best efforts to the country, it turns out I've won. It's over now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's <coughs> talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. Come on. 
John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us... No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch! Come on! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. But I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy. Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. 
I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. you pull up just here I'm gonna go see what kind of good honest work I can find grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such me too see if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something you son I'm hoping I can help you I saw the help wanted sign outside sure but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands ain't you son well uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing mm. as long as it's honest and it pays <laughs> <laughs> times hard mr. Uh, uh, Milton Jim Milton mm. yeah my wife and I and our boy we was robbed mm. a few days ago Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, Where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. <laughs> you load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Well, well you ride slow now. Gettys don't want as good damage. Of course. West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay.
Now we go north. This must be it. No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot, we'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! Take that horse if you need it. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. That's my damn wagon! Hey! This is your last chance to come out of this breathing! Get on with you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't take a joke, mister! Tell Gaddy's to take that offer off Mr. Abel, or we get a whole lot more funny. <laughs>
Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Gettys know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Gettys returns. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, nah, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Yeah. Come on this way. I, I was uh, on my chores anyhow. I don't know, because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm Say, recording right now. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you awesome. when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh... Not discuss this in front of my wife. Oh, uh, no, you, sure. Yeah, of mm, course. Oh, I haven't been online in a while. I've just been playing campaign. Here. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Cool. Mrs. Milton. Jim Milton. 
from how fine you seem. This yeah, I'm in the this. farm right now. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. All righty then. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack. When you All right. I'll see you later. Done in here. Come on sorry out. Sorry about that, hand. folks. Uh, you didn't include his audio, so sorry about that. Uh, if it sounded like I was talking to no one, I was actually talking to someone. So. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna mute myself down. now. Please enjoy. Come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand, a new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. But most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Ain't so bad. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Abe, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. 
Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Hold on. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Be careful. Moving up. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Ugh. Stinking piles of... I reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same as I've been? Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. Let's give you another go, girl. I'm just a homesteader looking for a patch. I ain't no room for homesteaders here. This land is owned. Chief, you got some nerve showing up in this country. Why don't you go back where you came from? I'm here under duress. All right. It's your business, not mine. Drop them. <laughs> 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 
Dear me! Are they dead? Sir? I was alone in these parts and much in need of a friend. Thank you. You'll find the rest of the folks in these parts more welcoming, I hope. I won't let this encounter be a deterrence. I mean to settle somewhere here. Good luck. girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello there. That horse doing all right? I'm happy to stable that for you. Problem? Good morning. Great town, this, huh? Mm -hmm. Don't think I've seen you in here before. Look around. I reckon the pressure's gonna get to me. Easy. Morning. You know, this is a beautiful town. Yeah. You new in town? Hey, you're welcome here. So, what are we doing? That's pretty nice. That's a bit smarter. All right, guess we're all done here. You're real helpful, thank you. Hey, partner. Hey, buddy. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I... if I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and... ain't no way of knowing. Too hot, though. I don't mind. Oh. I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. 
I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only, most folk find me creepy and, and strange, uh, which ain't nice. I guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> I used to know a fella. A bit like you. A few years back. Crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure. That's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. Howdy. Everyone in here is okay. Nothing really. Girl, leave me, girl. Yeah. Easy now. Who's a good girl? Brush it off.
Settle. Help the blind. Help the blind. Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Enjoy the world while you can. Enjoy today. For tomorrow. Tomorrow awaits us all. Okay, I guess I'll bear that in mind.
Okay, Missy. You was tough, girl. You ain't spooked, are you? You're a good girl now. Coming on, girl. We're getting there, ain't we? Give me a bit more! 